Hey, 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 this is Barb from Right For You Virtual Services, and today I'm going to show you how to format quotes that are on transparent backgrounds. So as you can see, I'm using my favorite program, Canva, and I do have um, the paid version of Canva. I'm going to click on Uploads, and my quote is already here. What I did was I um, created quotes and saved them on transparent backgrounds and then uploaded them onto Canva. So I'm just going to click and drag it over and I'm going to pull it out a little bit so that it can be formatted. And as you can see, it's in the center um, based on the, perf the purple lines that you see on the screen. That means that it's in the center. So of course, I can leave it as is if I want to. But if I want to make it a little bit more personalized to my brand, I can click on backgrounds over here. And if I want, I can go ahead and choose one of these backgrounds. So let's say I choose this one. And then all I have to do is send it to the back. If it's going to let me. Uh oh, wait a minute. Let me go back and re upload it. There we go. So, though, there are the quotes or the quote on a Canva created background. And as you can see, I have many different backgrounds to choose from, so I can pick any one of their backgrounds to go ahead and use. Um, another thing I can do is maybe use my own background, so I have different colors here for my brand that I could definitely use. Um, another thing you could do is go to Elements, and let's go to Free Photos. So let's say I want to use, um, let's say any day that we don't give up puts us one day closer to success. So let's use um, flowers. So I selected flowers and it's showing me photos here. And what I could do is make sure it's free only. And I'm going to actually click on photos so that um, I get actual pictures as opposed to illustrations. See the difference? So I'm going to click on photos. Um, I like this one. So we're just going to go with this one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it out. And as you can see, it's right here. The words automatically show up. So if I want, I can always click on the photo and move it over a bit so that the words are not directly on it. Or what I could do is actually another cool trick I could put this um, right here in the center and there go my purple lines and if I want I could click on the photo and I can make the photo transparent so I can make it like that so that way it just looks like a backdrop and the words um, pop out a little bit better so that's another thing you can do oops undo I meant to click on the photo not the um, words so we're gonna move that over and we're going to delete that. So another thing I can do is um, go to Elements and click on Shapes. And I can use any one of these um, colored backgrounds to add a little um, pizzazz. So there's one right there. And I can just change it to whatever color I want it to be. Um, another one that I can do is this one right here. Delete. Oops, sorry about that. Take that out. Drag this out and up. And as I drag this, there we go. All I can do is change the background. So let's make it, let's do yellow. And then um, we're going to keep that as navy. And then we're going to arrange and bring it to the back. So that way my words come up to the front. I don't like the yellow. And I apologize, I do have um, his spring break and my kids are home, but I didn't, I wanted to get this video out real quick, so that's why I'm just going to go ahead and um, keep going. So that's another one. And you can choose any one of these designs here in order to um, kind of personalize it. There we go. Uh, let's see. Delete that. Um, you can add... What's starting to become my favorite is this little triangle. Drag it out. A little more. 
change the color and then just click on while it's on the actual background if you click arrange and back it brings your words to the front so that's another thing that you can do um, and you have any one of these shapes that you can play with and then of course um, you have different illustrations that you could use so if you wanted to use one of these illustrations and just add to it um, let me see, I'm not really feeling the illustrations. Hold on. Let me see. Hold on. Elements. Oh. Let's see. Mm, not feeling any of those. Uh oh, let me hear from some more. Um, let's see. So let's I'll just use a heart just to kind of just show you what's going on. So we have the heart. Um I'm gonna drag the heart out a little bit so that it's taking up more room. And then I'm gonna arrange and push it to the back so then my words come up on top. So you can do that with the illustrations. You really can do it for just about any of them on here. Um, and then you have uh, these different designs here like lifestyle. Let's see what's under lifestyle. And you have different pictures here that you can use. So that's basically a couple of things that you can do with um, Canva in regards to if you have it on a trend, if you downloaded uh, quotes that's on a transparent background, the different backgrounds that you can play with to make it um, a little bit more personal. Another thing that you can do, let me see, I'm going to type in Chevron. And if you notice, you see that's in gray. What I'm going to do is show you another way that you can do it. So let me delete the heart. Put my quote back up here. Let's see. Come on. Need you to get in the center. There we go. Um, if you see it like this in gray, that means you can take it and change the color to whatever you need it to be. So I'm going to take this. And as you can see, or barely see, it's right there. So what I'm going to do is take that and I'm going to change the color and then I'm going to arrange it and push it back and then there you go so now I took one of these designs that's in gray and just made it a color um, that I like and sometimes if you type in um, different designs like chevron or flowers or something like that sometimes the design will be like that and then you can go ahead and play with the color So I have another chevron background right here. You can see it better once I move the words out. And I'm just dragging it over. Let me drag it a little bit more. And then I'm putting my words right here. And then I'm going to click on the chevron design. And let's make it orange. But you can pretty much make it any color that, you know, that goes with your brand. But as you can see, um, it gives you some options here. So, again, my name is Barb. I am the owner of Write For You Virtual Services. If you click the link below, you will get um, 10 free quotes that you can use. There's 10 that's white, um, black words on a transparent background, and then there's 10 that's um, black words on a white background. And um, definitely in this video, along with another video I created, comes with the freebie. So definitely make sure that you grab those free gifts from me. Um, and if you have any questions, um, my, inf my contact information is below. Also, if you want to learn how you can take um, the quotes or information from your live videos or your pre-recorded videos and how you can turn those into quotes or ebooks or um, use them for blo future blog posts, definitely reach out to me and I will show you how we can make that happen. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.